today we're gonna to go through the four most fundamental exercises I do for abs year round and you can build into your program. Once we learn to master these four exercises, it's what's gonna help when your body fat's low enough to be able to see them, but also get your abs strong so it'll help you with exercise. This is gonna be part two of our series of our morning routine. This video is gonna be geared toward the four most basic exercises I would consider a fundamental process for your abs and get them to really get strong, but also show when your body fat level is low enough. Exercise one is gonna be the just standard crunch. So let's start there. Flat on my back, knees up, and then all we're gonna do is try to shorten the distance between my sternum and my belly button. So here, squeeze one, two, one, two, if you notice, I'm getting full extension and then full contraction and then I'm gonna hold a peak contraction. You have to make them work and squeeze just like you would do any muscle group. I actually like to touch them with my hands to make sure they're hard and activated. Okay, exercise one. How many sets, how many reps? Three to four sets, 15 to 20 reps, and you can do this as much as three times per week. Exercise number two, the hanging leg raise. I'm gonna show you a bunch of different variations that we can do if you aren't quite strong enough or if you're really good, some ways to make this exercise harder. Step one is we need something to grab onto. I have a pull-up bar here by Rogue um, that I have installed on my door frame. You can obviously grab the frame of your door and hold. You can, if you're at the gym, you can use one of the fancy BOSU balls or any pull-up station with a power rack and it will be another great option. So let's get into a knee raise first. This is gonna be the most easy. So roughly shoulder width. And all I wanna think about doing is drive my knees up, squeeze my abs. So the exact opposite of what we did with the crunch, but I'm still trying to shorten the distance between my belly button and my sternum. And I'm doing that by raising my knees up. That's exercise one in this little rotation. Two, if you can start nailing 10, 15, 20 of those, and you're not really getting as good or hard work, let's start with a leg raise. It's gonna be significantly harder. So here, leg raise up, down. Notice I'm pausing on the ground and up. Just like that, every rep. So, once you start nailing those, let's say you're, that's easy, 10 to 15, even 20 reps, we can start to add a hold to that. So again, grab the bar, shoulder width grip, drive up, hold, one, two, down. One, two, down. If you notice there, no momentum not swinging or kipping. I'm really controlling and working those lower abs. Just like with the crunches, three to four sets, 10 to 15, even upwards is 20, and do that as much as three times per week. Third exercise, the via. Now, the reason I put this third rotation is because I'm trying to do this in order of difficulty. The, this third one here takes some coordination and practice, but do not give up when, if you struggle the first few times doing this. Just continue to do that, and I promise you'll begin to learn that rhythm of this exercise. So we're gonna start flat on the ground, legs straight, arms overhead, and then all we're gonna do is do a leg raise coupled with a sit up. Here, one, two, again, same pause, very controlled, no jerking, 10 to 15 of these. Again, right here is where I should feel, right here is where I should feel. Upper and lower. Just like that. So, if you can find that your upper body and your lower body aren't in sync, again, it just takes practice. You have to do it over and over again. It's very, like anything in life, it takes practice and consistency. You will start nailing that two to three weeks in if you're really doing this three times a week. All right, by far the most difficult exercise of the day, the ab rollout. Now, let's say you don't have one of these fancy ab wheels. Again, you get these at Walmart, Target, Dick's Sporting Goods, ordered off Amazon. But if you don't have one of these, if you're in a gym, just get a straight bar with two 25 pound plates on the end of it, same thing. You can roll out, it's just as simple. You can also do this with a foam roller. When we get into more advanced level ab work that we'll see later on in the channel, um, then we'll show you those. But that's even harder than this. <laughs> but to stay, this is 10 bucks, super cheap. We'll do some ab rollouts. Now with this exercise, the reason it's so hard is you're gonna see the range of motion that I'm getting. If you aren't quite there, just don't go out as far. But I'm gonna show you the full range Keep your abs tight. This is thing about being in a planked position. And then we're gonna roll out and roll in. So let's show you a few of these. I'm gonna try to talk to it. <laughs> Knees together, hands out, get a good range of motion, pulls, right back up. There's one, two, 
three. We'll do five today. Normally, if you can get 10 to 15, you're in a great spot. If you can do 20, go slower. I'll show you a slow one. Creep it out, creep it out, creep it out. Pause, make this awful. Now up slow, don't jerk. Just like that. An often asked question is, how often can I train abs? Do I do them every day? Do I do them once a week, twice a week? I prefer three times a week, as that's just a good rotation. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Or if every time you do cardio, if it's only three days a week, hit them at the end of cardio. You can do them too much. It's like a normal muscle. But at the same time, abs tend to be able to take a little bit more volume and a little bit more frequency. They're very similar to calves. So when you're thinking about training and frequency and setting up your program, you definitely want to build at least two days in there, ideally three. All right, so that's part one and two of our series on morning work. Stay tuned for part three, which will be foam rolling, lacrosse ball, and that's so right. <laughs>